Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Sharon. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the upcycling or recycling of a winter wreath. I'm going to DIY a simple and easy wreath diffuser with holiday scents. And I'm going to style my coffee table slash ottoman for the holidays. So let's get started. Oh, but if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Now let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I will be using today to make my own homemade reed diffuser. I have essential oils that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, they are a fall and winter scent. Um, I will be using a combination of vanilla, cinnamon, cranberry, and a little bit of spice, along with my Pyrex dish, bamboo skewers, or actual reed diffusers that I do have, and a jar to house your essential oils. Now let's get straight into the diffuser recipe. Creating a homemade reed diffuser for the holidays is incredibly easy. You really only need three ingredients. You need a carrier oil, and I'm gonna be using almond oil, 100% organic almond oil. You'll need rubbing alcohol or vodka. The alcohol acts as a binding agent between the carrier oil, the almond oil in my case, and the essential oils and the essential oils of choice. You need a quarter cup of almond oil, you need two tablespoons of alcohol, you need about 20 to 30 drops of essential oils, And then you stir it up. And once we've got it all mixed together, we can pour it into the bottle. You can use pretty much any glass bottle that you like. Just make sure it has a narrow neck, which keeps the essential oils from evaporating too quickly. As you can see, the reeds have actual holes that run the length of the reed from top to bottom, which allows for the essential oils to travel up those tunnels and permeate your room. But if you don't have a reed diffuser and all you have is skewers, they work too. They just don't work as well as the actual reeds. Mmm, that smells so good. This is a wreath that I DIY'd some time ago. I am going to recycle this wreath and update it for this holiday season. And if you haven't seen that video, I will link it up above in the cards. So I'm going to take off the items that I had hot glued on and I'm going to add a new ornament. I enjoyed doing wreaths and I have to say this was probably one of my favorite ones that I've done. I love the fact that it's pretty forgiving considering what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing surgery on this wreath. I ordered a special holiday ornament for this wreath from Amazon, uh, but it said that the order was delayed and I don't know when I'm going to get it. So I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and go with plan B to finish this video. I'm going to use some Christmas picks. So I'm gonna put one about right there and about right there. I got the picks from Joanne Crass. 
I am not going to use hot glue. I'm going to use floral wire because I see myself changing this out uh, until the other Amazon order comes in, whenever that is. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. Now I've got that secured on there. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And then, as I said, I'm going to add my little uh, snowflake um, that I got from Joanne Crafts. And I'm more than likely going to put that right in the center. So I'm going to use this tray as the base to build my holiday coffee table slash ottoman. To me, it looks like a restoration hardware do. You guys should remember this tray from a shop with me that I did at Home Goods. Other than the tray, I shopped my home to style this coffee table. Okay, so these are the Christmas trees that I'll be using. I'm going to stick with the silver and white theme. Uh, I think it goes more with the gray and white in my family room. The Christmas trees all come from home goods except the fluffy white ones. I DIY'd those myself. I'll link the video up above in case you missed it. All the greenery here either came from Michaels or Joanne Crafts. The ceramic house came from Target, and the Christmas ornaments came from HomeSense. I love this rustic trees in nature. It gives me a festive vibe. I love the festive vibe of the Christmas trees in a forest. I love that look. And just a little bit of pine cones and a little bit of bling. I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells None of them help I still feel blue I just want to need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop And you can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well that Nobody else can do what you do I just wanna fall in love you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up at the end of this video I'm gonna leave a couple links click one to see more home decor by creative glam and with that being said have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on creative glam bye Santa, I've been good this year. I'll leave you a note right here